it's about three o'clock in the afternoon on Monday, the fourth of September, and I just got out of the shower from working in the yard for hours and hours. I had AJ out here working in the yard, and I just got out of the shower. And Stephen asked me to move the car so he could get the forklift. sure what he's doing so what's going on I need to get that oil pan out of there so I'm gonna lift the truck up a little bit so I can get some clear
you did what you needed to do then. I did what I had to do. Well, it just made me nervous. I thought, you know, I... I... It was all, I could almost get it out. It just needed a little clearance. Uh, that's nice. Raining oil down here on my face. Good thing I took a two hour break or it'd have been, it'd have been more than just rain. It'd have been a month soon. Okay, so it's best, it really is a puzzle, this thing. So it looks like to me that they didn't put adhesive all the way around it. They just put it in certain spots, I guess, wherever the, wherever it had to be pieced together like a puzzle is where they put the adhesive to make it stay up there. So it doesn't have adhesive anywhere on the pan or on the block. It's meaning they did not use adhesive and it didn't leak. So I'm going to go back the same way they did it. Just plain paper gasket. Now here is just like the back. I mean... The back is just like the front. Oh, got a drip in my face. Right there. So, looks good and smooth, though. I can see where it's got silicone in there. I'll have to remove that. Okay, that's removed. Removed. It was removed. Oh, we got a drop in the hair. She's pretty much cleaned up. I got a little bit more here. Reason why I had took that pan off is because where I put that silicone on there, it's stuck on there pretty good, so I need to get a, a brush on it. So you see the front of it. Silicone stuck on there really good, so I'll have to clean that up. It doesn't want to hurt me to clean this pan up either, so I just decided to lift her up and take it off. I didn't even know that that was underneath the truck. <laughs> You're retarded. Well, I didn't know. And all vehicles have oil pans. That's how they hold the oil in the motor. Every motor has an oil pan. And so they can hold the oil. And then they have that part down there that I showed you earlier. It's called a sump pump. And it pulls the oil out of the oil pan. Runs it through that pump. And then disperses it throughout the whole motor where it's needed. If you did not do that, you would not have a motor running more than a minute. Oh. It would seize up on you. I didn't know how all that worked. 
Well, uh, that's how it works. And I really didn't know that there was a pan. Yep. That literally is a pan, isn't it? That's what it is. You got a big old oil spot on your face. I, I thought I got it. No. It's it's all up here. Yeah, that's where it's at. You keep going. Uh, yeah, okay, you got it. I told you it was raining down there. So, in reality, I should have planned this was part of the job anyway. I mean... For me to think that I was going to get away from doing this was foolish on my part. Well, that's you probably didn't think that. You didn't think you were going to get away from not being able to do it, did you? No, I just thought when you bought a kit, you got everything you needed to do the job. So it didn't sell me an oil pan gasket. I didn't figure it was needed. That's how that worked. You know what I mean? They didn't sell it to me. I didn't think that it needed to be changed. So, for the record, what exact? I mean, because I'm trying to understand what exactly, put it in layman's terms, what exactly are you doing down there? I am cleaning up that sealant that I showed you. And because it's stuck on there really well, I'm going to have to get my... Uh, safety glasses on and get down here with a brush and brush it off I'm just making sure right now that I got all that gasket trimmed off exactly the way I want it Just perfectly flush Then I will clean it as clean as I can get it and of course that's going to be hard to do with oil running down like it is but that's just the way it goes. Of course, I can't um, get a good view of what you're doing, so. Why well, can't you? There's a blanket right there. Just pull the blanket and get on it. Uh, well, I just got out of the shower. Mm -hmm. I mean. Well, actually, though, it's getting oil dripped all over it. So. Well, I mean, I literally just got cleaned up, so I don't really want to lay in grease and oil. Besides, that would freak me out. I'd be afraid the truck's going to fall on me. How's it going to fall when it's got 10 wheels holding it up? I, I, I don't know. I'm just a little bit claustrophobic about being underneath the vehicles thinking they're going to fall on me. They can't fall you on you as long as they got 10 wheels holding them up. Well, people do get trapped underneath vehicles. Yeah, when they jack them up and they fall off the jack or something. Yeah. Do you see this thing sitting on any jacks? No, I guess not. Yeah, I'm glad I took the pan off. That would have been too much work trying to work around that pan. Well, one thing's for certain. You certainly are laboring on Labor Day. Well, you're working diligently. You're working hard. Oh, got my, something in my eye. This is the last holiday of summer. This is the very unofficial end of summer. I mean, fall doesn't really start until technically until the 20th or the 21st of September. So, technically, we're still in summer, technically. But as a way of recognition, as an unofficial end of summer is Labor Day. I need to sharpen that thing up. Clean that pan, clean those bolts. So can you visualize having a big shop, a big garage with a concrete floor and air conditioning? Hell. Yeah. Big enough to put the truck in the garage, the shop, wouldn't that be nice? Nice, yeah. Well, I got junk in both my eyes now. Worst, first it was just one eye. I doubt. Okay, I want to get it out of the other eye. I got junk in the other eye. Now I got junk in both eyes. 
Yeah, I'm Sad surprised thing you is, don't it have always any... happens when I have oil on my hand, so I can't do anything about it. Well, I am surprised you don't have your safety ga uh, glasses on. That's the one I've been using. Okay. I don't know if there's enough room to get this up there, but I'm gonna try. So what are you about to do now? Get that silicone off of there. Although, Josh, I believe his name is, with Adept Ape, the master mechanic at uh, Caterpillar there in blah, 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 Utah, says never to do this. Why? Says because these brushes could take some aluminum off, making it uneven. Got a battery going down. Alright. Okay, I'm not doing it no more than that because like Josh said, it removes aluminum. So don't want to remove any aluminum. Oh, that oil I took out of the motor today. Ooh. All that motor oil I took out of the motor today, what happened to it? You said it looks good? Yeah, you check your magnets and uh, <clears throat> when they come out clean, there's no metal on them at all. A little bit of grass. And there's a little bit of wire brush from when I was working on it, but um, see that wire brush there? <laughs> Piece of wire brush in there, but there's no metal from the motor, so she looks clean. I checked all the magnets. Just as clean as could be. That's what you want to see when you Look in your oil pan. No metal, no grindings, no nothing, just oil. So that's clean? Yeah, it's clean. I mean, it got dirty when I pulled it out and it got all kinds of dirt knocked into it. But as far as the magnets are concerned, there's no metal on them. Well, that's good. <laughs> 